And I said, you know what? I'm not going to go that route. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something different, and I'm going to change shit up. I want to last longer than these guys. And that's why I started making different adjustments. Him and Dorian and Nasser, all these guys, all these guys suffered, you know, a lot of injuries. Dexter Jackson's greatness is a given, even as time marches on and younger competitors rise and fall. His beard is gray and his face is lined, but his physique refuses to age. What helped Dexter Jackson avoid injuries like the ones Ronnie Coleman suffered from? In an effort to discover his secrets, we examine what makes the blade so phenomenal from A to Z. Dexter Jackson, the legend. No competitor is more associated with a contest than the blade is with the Arnold. He holds every significant record. Most wins, five, most entries, 15, and the most top five finishes, 14. In addition, he's won the Arnold Classic Australia and the Arnold Classic Europe. With all due respect to the contest namesake, Jackson owns the AC. He has two of the highest caliber guns ever flexed on a stage. But if you're looking for the key to Bulba's biceps here, the secret is there is no secret. He does the same things most every other bodybuilder does for moderate volume and moderate reps. A typical routine consists of easy bar preacher curls, seated alternate dumbbell curls and one arm machine curls, all for four sets of eight to 10 reps. There are a lot of different ways to do a curl with free weights and machines, he says. Around the time he turned 41 at the end of 2010, when it seemed his physique might actually be fading, Jackson enlisted trainer Charles Glass, even though it meant commuting from Florida to California. Glass, a master of hitting all the angles with modified exercises, has been Jackson's trainer ever since, proving you can teach an old dog new tricks. At first glance, his shoulder routine seemed elementary, an overhead press, a front raise, a lateral raise, and a rear lateral, four sets of each, 10 to 15 reps per set. What makes it unique is Glass and his bag of tricks. The master trainer is liable to come up with things like a one-arm Smith machine overhead press sitting perpendicular to the bar and an underhand easy bar front raise. The parameters stay the same, but even Jackson is surprised by the particulars of each workout. He's been around so long, it's difficult to remember what he looked like more than a decade ago. Even his 2008 Mr. Olympia shape was not him in his peeled prime. He simply got too big to go Ultra HD. But from 1999 to 2006, he was consistently the crispest conditioned bodybuilder in pro contests. His waist was nearly invisible, and he sported deep detailing in even his lower back. In 1999, contest promoter Ed Parizzo bestowed on him one of bodybuilding's most iconic nicknames, The Blade, because he's always delivered the cuts. Why he avoided injuries? The Blade's remarkable longevity has only been possible because he's avoided trauma. I don't do all those crazy heavy compound movements that I did when I was younger, he says. As I got older, I changed my training. Guys like Ronnie and Dorian kind of fell apart at the end because they didn't change their training. I do more isolation and machine exercises now. It works for me, as long as I train hard with good form. Proper knowledge also likely has something to do with it. The fact that the blade at 41 and with a sand out on his mantle turned his workouts over to Charles Glass speaks volumes about his willingness to learn. Even now, at 48 years old, he is continually accumulating knowledge on workout techniques, nutrition, and how his body responds to exercises and food. Dexter Jackson on his Olympia win It takes most winners only two or three tries. Jay Cutler won on his sixth try, but he'd been second four times. This was Jackson's ninth Olympia, and he'd never previously been runner-up. Even he didn't envision himself as the world's best bodybuilder, but at 38, he bested Cutler to win the 2008 Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia, come on, that's crazy, he said afterward. It's only made more exciting by the fact that he was on the verge of quitting. After a light heavy sixth at the 1996 Nationals, Jackson put his all into one final attempt to turn pro, the 1998 North Americans. With an outrageous V taper and much improved legs, the 28-year-old won the light heavy and overall titles. I had my family sleeping on the floor and my girlfriend at the time was working two and three jobs so I could stay home, watch the kids and train, he said. Had I not turned pro, I was done. Ronnie Coleman takes a shot at Dexter Jackson. The king, Ronnie Coleman, insists he'll never stop and even took a shot at Dexter Jackson for suggesting he take it easy. Ronnie Coleman knows people may be worried about his health and probably think he should slow down or stop working out altogether. But the king has an important message. He's not quitting the gym, ever. In fact, he would rather work out than eat or sleep, he revealed in his latest Instagram post. Trust me, I love you guys to death for being concerned about me, but it's not going to happen, he wrote. In closing, I would like to say, oh yeah, it ain't over, mullbuckers. Once again, it's on like ding-dongs. 
The eight-time Mr. Olympia was on the road to recovery after multiple spinal surgeries and being told late last year he might never walk again. Largely against medical advice, he's continually trained in an effort to prevent his massive muscles from atrophying. But in a recent post, he revealed that he'd taken a six-month hiatus from working out until his doctor cleared him to train again. Not that you could tell from his still-jacked biceps. Unlike previous updates where he's seen sitting down, Coleman is standing in his latest post, a promising sign of progress for the 55-year-old following his latest surgery. Still, many of his fans have urged him to give it a break so that his body could heal properly. Yeah, I know what some of you are thinking, and no, I'm never going to quit working out, he stated in his latest post. Working out is the best thing to happen to me all day. He even called out 2008 Mr. Olympia Dexter Jackson, who said he viewed Coleman as a cautionary tale during an interview with Generation Iron. The Blade said Coleman and other bodybuilding greats, such as Dorian Yates, should have transitioned to machine weights as they aged to prevent serious injuries. I said, yeah, I'm not going to go that route. I want to last longer, Jackson told the website. I love Coleman to death, and it just hurts me to see him go from where he was to where he is now. It hurts. He later added, Ronnie, come on, you gotta let it go. Coleman responded in his Instagram post by saying, so at Mr. Olympia 08 and all the rest of you guys, quit wasting your breath and your time commenting and giving out y'all's lame-ass advice about me quitting. So whether you agree with Coleman's habits or not, it's clear we'll be seeing a lot more of him in the gym. After all, this is the guy who once said, God knows I don't want to die in the gym, but if it happens, God bless me. What were Ronnie Coleman's injuries? Eight-time Mr. Olympia and iconic bodybuilder Ronnie Coleman has been in and out of the hospital several times in recent years. Ronnie Coleman's life took a very bad turn after having one of the most renowned bodybuilding runs ever. He confessed that he worked out and won many consecutive contests while battling a herniated disc, a spinal condition that could lead to severe pain and even paralysis. If someone has a back condition, they usually seek treatment straight away, but not Coleman. He disregarded the pain and continued to compete. He needed many back operations and a few hip surgeries as a result of this. Nowadays, the man has been in and out of the hospital multiple times. Furthermore, Coleman said in June 2020 that he may never be able to walk anymore. Many of Coleman's injuries are the result of a career in competitive bodybuilding. He revealed at the time that it was his third turn under the knife in that year alone. A regular doctor's visit to get x-rays on his hips in 2020 turned into an appointment for minor surgery. In a video released via an Instagram page, Coleman said, Here we go again. I'm on my way in now. You guys say a prayer for the old man. Back in 2018, Coleman went to hospital to have his intestines pulled out and screws put in and out of his back, then his intestines put back in. RCSS Supplements posted a picture on Instagram of Coleman post-surgery. They wrote that he wanted to crack a smirk and give a thumbs up. In September 2019, Coleman underwent his 10th bout of surgery to fix four broken screws, as in those ones from 2018. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you another time.